Let's talk for a second about how you make your query. Because when you type to Google, it's one thing to choose the right words. It's also a thing to have to figure out which words to put into which order. So let's talk about how you choose that word order. Because the first thing to remember here is that every word matters. That is, you can't just type words and put in random stuff and expect it to do a good job. So the two big points for this lesson are that every word matters in your query and the word order makes a difference. Let me give you an example. If we just do the simple query, who, you can see the results we get are for the World Health Organization. There are a lot of web pages that point to that page. That page represents the World Health Organization, which has a lot of references throughout the web space. And the word who appears many, many times on that document. So it's a great result. But now let's think about this. In English, if we just add the article a in front of that word, it changes the meaning a lot. So let's try that. What does that search look like? Here, I've done the query a who, or the article a, or a, in front of the word who. See how it changes it? You can see the first result here. It refers to the Horton Hears a Who IMDb page. So there's a movie, it's very popular, a Dr. Seuss character makes well in the world. You can see, though, that it changed the search results substantially. Let's try another variation on this theme. Let's add the article, the. You can see here now the result is yet again different. In this case, the who refers to a classic British rock band. Just the word who, the, the word a in front of who, the word the in front of who, three different, very different results. So you can see here that even tiny words can make a big difference. This makes a big difference when it's part of a stereotypical phrase or something that you would read or see or hear about commonly. Those kinds of things make a big difference. So let's think about this in another way. Here I've done a query, sky blue. Now, one of the things I want you to realize is that the order of words matters a lot. Let's compare sky blue with the query turned around, blue sky. You can see here that the very first query, sky blue, gives you beautiful pictures of a blue sky. Um, it has a Wikipedia article about what makes the sky blue. Great result. When we reverse the order of the query terms like that, what you see now is that the results refer to Blue Sky Studios, Chinese restaurants, and so on. They're all the names of different businesses in the area. Another thing to remember here is that there are many things that matter, but some things that don't matter. Let me tell you that because it's important to know what doesn't matter as well. Capitalization does not matter. So a search for iPhone, capital I, lowercase i, capital P, lowercase b, doesn't matter. Here I've got two versions of the query, Red Delicious. Red Delicious with a capital D and Red Delicious with every other letter capitalized. You can see it doesn't make any difference. So capitalization might be important to you, might be important to your English teacher. It's not important to Google search. Another thing that doesn't matter is the, another thing that doesn't matter are that there are many special characters that we commonly use in writing or in printed books that actually can't be found using Google. For example, here we have the section symbol, the paragraph symbol, the yen symbol, the pound symbol, the euro symbol, and so on. You might want to look for string like copyright symbol 2015, but you actually can't. So it's important to understand what works and what doesn't work, and searching for these kinds of special characters will not work. On the other hand, there are some special characters that do make a difference. Here, for example, we see C++. That's a, prog a programming language. That's a programming language that's often used to create computer uh, systems like Google or whatever system you might be using. C sharp, or the hash symbol after the letter C, is another programming language. The hashtag in front of the in front of a word like hashtag can be used to search for hashtags in documents throughout the web. So we recognize that special symbol either following a character like C or preceding a word like here, we're searching for the hashtag, hashtag. 
Some other symbols like dollar sign or the at sign or the percent sign can be recognized when they're used in context. So looking for a price like dollar 100 or dollar 2010, we recognize that appropriately and we give you the correct results. Another thing to realize is that Google has an incredibly good spell correction system. Here, for example, is a list of the many ways that you can misspell Britney Spears. Now, she has an unusual spelling for her name. In fact, let me show you what I mean by this. This is just a partial list, but Google has the ability to get many variations on that same word correct. Here's an example. So now, let's try searching for Britney Spears misspelled. I'm going to purposely misspell it just to give you an idea of how it works. Here, I'm going to type it with two T's. B R I T T E N Spears, like that. And you can see what we've got are a bunch of Britney Spears results. Because if you look up here, we're showing results for Britney Spears with one T. But instead, right below it, you see search instead for Britney Spears. Now, suppose you have a friend who spells her name like that. This is how you can search for it. I'm going to click on the 2T version, like that, and all of a sudden I've got images of Britney Spears because lots of other people misspell her name and they attach photographs to it. But I can see now there are actually are other people who actually have that name spelled with two Ts. So you can see here, when you do a Google query, remember the word order matters. Some characters cannot be searched for. Spell correction is your friend and can help you out in a lot of cases, especially when you're typing difficult words. And sometimes those little tiny words like a, uh, and, the, will make a difference in the kind of results you get. Try to use the phrase that includes those articles when you're searching for specific terms like a British rock band that has the, the in front of its name. Good luck. Go on to the next activity.